Nest is the secret syndicate that played a pivotal role in the King of Fighters 99, 2000 and 2001 tournaments, utilizing them as a cover for their ambitious plans of global dominance. Positioned as the central antagonist during the second KOF story arc, Ness introduced a roster of unforgettable bosses, including Chrysalid, Clone Zero, Original Zero, and the ultimate antagonist, Ignis. Renowned for their overwhelming strength, broken abilities, and infuriating challenges, these characters embodied the classic SNK boss archetype, often prompting players to rage quit in frustration. Despite their presumed demise at the conclusion of the Nest Saga, none of them have staged a comeback, in stark contrast to the villains from the Orochi Saga. Interestingly, revelations from KOF 14 confirmed that at least two of them, Chrysalid and Ignis, resided as trapped zoos within Verse, possibly resurrected upon the monster's destruction. This video aims to shed light on these remarkable yet somewhat overlooked figures, exploring the charisma and memorability that define their era. But before that, as always, if you like this content, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and click the bell icon so you can be notified with every new video posted. Nests a shadowy organization shrouded in secrecy exerted control over a vast web of criminal activities across the globe. Founded by a mysterious figure named Nests, a figure depicted as an aged man adorned in a cape and within a broad sword who personified the organization alongside his right-hand man and son, Ignis, and the enigmatic secretary, Misty. This trio masterminded Nests' intricate web of actions. The crime syndicates delved into cutting-edge fields such as biotechnology, genetics, robotics, and weaponry, boasting a formidable technological arsenal for research, particularly in bioengineering. Proficient in creating super-powered humans, spaceships, and satellites, NES operations led to the bankruptcy of numerous corporations worldwide, prompting a relentless pursuit by investigative agencies. Their elusive headquarters, located on a satellite orbiting the Earth, added an extra layer of mystery to their operations. In pursuit of world domination, Ness discovered the Orochi power and Kyo Kusanagi during the Orochi saga. Seizing the opportunity, they initiated the Kusanagi cloning program, kidnapping Kyo after his confrontation with Orochi. This nefarious program resulted in the creation of Kyo clones, Chrysalid, and Kadash. To further their global ambitions, Ness strategically acquired the sponsorship rights for the King of Fighters and orchestrated KOF 99. Their plan was to collect invaluable battle data from the tournament's fighters, defeat them using their agents, and, with the world deprived of protectors, seize control. The acquired data would then serve as the foundation for their army of unstoppable fighters, bringing them one step closer to their ultimate objective of world domination. To execute this intricate plan, Nest summoned Chrysalid, a high-ranked operative and the ultimate Kyo Kusanagi clone, designed with a special suit to absorb data from opponents during battle. Chrysalid bore Kyo's DNA, extracted during his earlier kidnapping, which was used to create multiple clones and imbue others with pyrokinetic abilities, including the famous Kadash, who would later bring the downfall of the Syndicate. Believing Sarah, also known as Webb, to be his sister, and Kadash to be his clone, Chrysalid became the secret host of KOF 99. Ness tasked him with activating thousands of Kyo clones worldwide using his specialized suit. However, Kadash and Maxima defied Ness, defeating Chrysalid in the climactic showdown of KOF 99. Following Chrysalid's defeat, the Kyo clones were neutralized, and Ness responded ruthlessly, fatally crushing Chrysalid with a thrown boulder in the crumbling base. Whip discovered Chrysalid near death, revealing his true clone status before his life was ended by her hands. Yet Chrysalid's story did not conclude with his demise. Zero, somehow retrieving Chrysalid's body, used the power of Ness' technology to resurrect him. Following the defeat of Chrysalid, the reins of control were seized by his supervisor, Zero. However, this was not the same fiercely loyal Zero associated with Nests. 
This Zero, dubbed Clone Zero, was a clone who had diverged from the unwavering loyalty of the original. Operating secretly for personal gain, Clone Zero exploited NES technology to craft his own weapon, the Zero Cannon, incorporating the same technology present in Chrysalis battle armor. The elaborate scheme unfolded in the King of Fighters 2000, where Clone Zero assumed the identity of Ling, a military commander and close friend of Hayden, organizing KOF 2000 to draw nests out of Hayden. Under the guise of Ling, Clone Zero deceived and captured Hayden, halting military resistance against him. As the tournament reached its climax, Clone Zero revealed his true identity and dubbed cross both Nest and Hayden, initiating his plan. This nefarious scheme involved harnessing the fighter's energy to power the destructive Zero Cannon, capable of obliterating South Town in a single shot. However, K Dash and his team, alongside Hayden and the Nest operatives, Kula, Foxy, Diana, and Candy, thwart Clone Zero's plans, defeating him in a fierce battle and destroying the menacing Zero Cannon. Later on, he was also found by Whip on the brink of death. In his final moments, Clone Zero disclosed to Whip her origins and her connections with K-Dash, offering insights into her tumultuous past before Whip put an end to his life. The following year, Ness orchestrated the King of Fighters 2001, strategically aiming to eliminate all their adversaries and fulfill their long-standing plan of world conquest. Deploying their own team, aptly named the Ness team, comprised of Foxy, Kula, Angel, and their latest creation, K49, later known as Cronin, the final Q clone crafted from scratch, Ness sought to ensure victory in the tournament. Concurrently, the original Zero received orders from Ness leader to resume the primary plan of world domination. Armed with the gathered fighting data stored in Ness main database, the cartel aimed to dispose of the world fighters and assert control over the then defenseless planet. In a bid to clear his clone's tarnished reputation, Zero was tasked with eliminating the winners of the 2001 tournament, k Maxima, Whip and Lin. Zero trapped the victorious team in a disguised blimp, revealing their true destination to the Nest main headquarters in outer space. Engaging the hero team alongside Ron, Glogan, and the revived Chrysalid, Zero, despite utilizing Nest technology, failed to carry out his mission. In his defeat, Zero valiantly urged the team to escape the collapsing ship, seemingly meeting his honorable demise on board. As the K-Dash team confronted the Ness headquarters, they encountered Ignis, who disclosed his ascent to power by betraying and eliminating his father, aided by Ness secretary Misty, who was revealed to be Ignis's lover. Ignis unveiled the true motive behind hosting KOF 2001 tournament to become a new god. Transforming into a megalomaniac with aspirations of global rule, Agnes's dreams were abruptly shattered when he was vanquished by Kadash and his allies. In an act of desperation, Agnes declared himself a demon and attempted to destroy those who opposed him by sending Nest main headquarters plummeting out of orbit. Miraculously, the passengers within the fallen station survived, signaling the demise of Agnes and the end of the Nest cartel. Diana and Foxy, once associated with Nest, now endeavor to resurrect the organization, seemingly driven by more benevolent objectives. Unbeknownst to them, however, remnants of the original organization still operate, clandestinely carrying out the shady schemes that define Nests. Adding to the intrigue, confirmation that Verse houses the suits of Grizzle and Ignis implies their likely resurrection, wandering freely with uncertain intentions. The veil of uncertainty shrouds their next moves, leaving one to wonder about the ominous plans these revived figures might be hatching. The formidable and self-asserted chrysalid possesses an extraordinary level of power, often exuding cockiness and megalomania. Despite his immense strength, he remains unwaveringly loyal to Nests, showcasing an earnest and hard-working personality beneath the surface. 
Beyond his special suit, Chrysalis' fighting prowess remains unparalleled, displaying top-notch abilities that go beyond mere reliance on artificial enhancements. His loyalty extends to a sibling-like bond with Webb, demonstrating a softer, if not misguided, side of his character. Harnessing the pyrokinesis inherited from Kyoko Sanagi, Chrysalid lacks innate control over the flames and relies on rigorous training and artificial augmentations. Renowned for his exceptional combat skills, Chrysalid boasts a hard-to-dodge anti-air move, high-gauge projectiles, and inescapable dash attacks. Drawing upon his borrowed bloodline, Chrysalid exhibits control over fire, showcasing a versatile array of techniques. He can create fire from thin air, envelop his body in flames, generate explosions, launch energy projectiles, and infuse his attacks with energy. His hands possess piercing and cutting capabilities, creating a cutting aura and air currents, and deliver swift, high-speed attacks. In his latest technique, the lightning disaster unveiled in 2002 UM, Chrysalid converts all his basal data into physical form, adding another layer to his already formidable arsenal. Despite being a clone of Zero, this particular iteration harbors ambitious aspirations, leading him to betray Nest in pursuit of his own ideals. Ironically, he harbors a strong aversion to traitors, showcasing a hypocritical facet given his own treacherous actions. A master impersonator, Clone Zero possesses the uncanny ability to mask his true personality and replicate the demeanor of others, achieving near-perfect imitation through his adept shape-shifting skills. Whether physically mimicking a target or perfectly replicating their personality, Zero's proficiency in deception is unmatched. In combat, Zero heavily relies on his specially designed suit, utilizing his sharp blades as his primary weapons. While he possesses a basic repertoire of fighting moves, the suit significantly enhances his combat capabilities. Embracing the darkness, Clone Zero wields several powers associated with it, manifesting a small explosion of dark energy and conjuring a black hole by either punching the ground or merely opening his hands. In stark opposition to his clone's ambitious and treacherous nature, Original Zero exemplifies unwavering loyalty to Nest, a commitment so extreme that he likely would have opposed Agnes' betrayal if he had known in advance. Despite his allegiance to Nest, Zero stands out as an honorable man, showcasing his good-hearted nature through his fondness for raising children. Despite being the only non-final boss in the video and serving as a sub-boss in KOF 2001, he holds the title of the second most powerful figure in the Nest saga after Ignis in canonical terms. Zero's fighting style mirrors that of his cloned counterpart, yet he appears more at ease, executing techniques with seemingly less effort. Adding to his formidable presence, Zero is consistently accompanied and supported by three loyal figures, Chrysalid, Ron, and his pet lion. Agnes stands as one of the most formidable human bosses in the King of Fighters series, wielding unparalleled power that stems both from his special suit and his enigmatic psychic and mystical abilities. His unique combination of largely unexplained origin solidifies Agnes' status as a force to be reckoned with, potentially the strongest of all. Fueled by his belief in godhood, Ignis adopts a preachy manner of speech, delivering lengthy speeches during his intro and at the end of each match. His devastating Brutal God Project attack is announced with a declaration of casting opponents down from heaven, embodying his god complex. In defeat, he humbles himself, equating his fall to the level of a demon. Agnes' formidable strength and resilience are attributed to his special suit, mentally linked to his mind, equipped with hidden tentacles in his wrists, and four-pointed edge tentacles, demonstrating strength surpassing even a combined diamond and maxima at full power. Agnes showcases inhuman speed and utilizes a vast array of psychic abilities. His suit functions as a versatile tool, reflecting projectiles, creating force fields for defense or projectile reflection, and enabling flight. 
Adding to his already impressive repertoire, Agnes possesses ergokinesis abilities, channeling both natural and artificial energy. His cosmic prowess includes firing white energy projectiles, creating pillars and powerful balls of energy, and unleashing blasts from his suit tentacles. His cosmic energy control extends to gathering power from the universe, influencing his strength, speed, stamina, and energy projection. Remarkably, his special suit can absorb energy from the cosmos, with the ability to draw from the Milky Way, creating massive energy balls or crystal spheres capable of annihilating his opponents. Ignis's multifaceted abilities and cosmic manipulation make him an awe-inspiring adversary in the entire franchise. The Nest bosses stand as iconic pillars in the King of Fighters universe and SNK games at large, solidifying their reputation as classic SNK bosses by embodying the essence of being notoriously cheap and unfairly challenging to face. However, their relatively small impact on the franchise's legacy might be attributed to a challenging era for SNK, marked by financial difficulties where they couldn't quite match the memorability of the Orochi saga villains such as Rugal, Genets, and Orochi. Despite their formidable nature, failed to leave as lasting an impression. Their absence from subsequent installments, bearing the Dream Match installment of 2UM, where players could face them based on performance, reflected their diminished prominence. While they missed the cuts for KOA 15, the enduring popularity and numerous requests from longtime fans, especially for Chrysalid, keep hope alive for their return, possibly in an eventual Season 3 DLC, where the NES bosses might yet make a triumphant comeback to the series. Special thanks to my patrons for their support. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did, and why not consider subscribing to the channel? Thanks for watching.